Finally, I can edit full-length videos on my new iPad Pro without having to worry about internal storage. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. As a photographer and a videographer, I do a lot of editing here on my iPad Pro, both photos and video. But I typically run into one big limitation, and that's storage. Yes, you can get iPads with up to like two terabytes or so of internal storage, which is crazy. But still, if you are editing longer 4K UHD videos, let alone something crazy like HDR content, that storage just gets eaten up like that. Now, Apple has done a little bit in recent years to help alleviate this issue for creators. They've adopted things like the USB-C or the Thunderbolt ports on iPads, and they've introduced the Files app, which allows you to access external media right from the device itself, which is great, but it still has not been enough. It still, it still takes a lot of file management, moving things around. Okay, we're gonna bring it onto the iPad, edit, then offload everything back to the external drive and stuff like that. And it just gets clumsy and messy and not time effective if you are in a crunch. So when I do these external editing, whether I'm on a trip with my wife or I'm out at CES, I need a workflow that is just going to work. And when I keep running into those storage limits of my iPad, it's immensely frustrating. But fortunately, LumaFusion has delivered the last piece of the puzzle allowing you to have a completely external workflow. You can import footage to an external drive, edit off an external drive, and then export a finished polished project to an external drive, allowing you to create this 50 gig, 100 gig, 4K HDR project with a gig or two maybe of storage on the device itself. It is truly incredible, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do just that in this video. So a few things just to walk you through what I have here, what you may need, is first, starting with the device itself, I have my iPad Pro. This is the 2021 iPad Pro. I have my Magic Keyboard attached to it, my Apple Pencil, none of that's really necessary, just the iPad itself. Any iPad Pro with USB-C or a Thunderbolt is going to work fine, or if you have an iPad Air with USB-C, that will work as well. I have that then connected to this guy, down here. Uh, it's like my CalDigit Element Hub, I believe it's what it's called. It's like a Thunderbolt 4 uh, USB hub that I use and that is connected to my iPad. The reason we have the hub is to completely do everything external. If you don't have a hub, you cannot connect multiple devices at the same time. So you'd have to connect your camera to your iPad, uh, import your footage into like the Files app or into Photos, then disconnect your camera, plug in your storage, then move everything back to the external drive. So in that case, you do have to use your iPad as like a middleman to temporarily store those files while you move between devices, or you can connect a hub. Any USB Thunderbolt hub will work. Uh, well, Thunderbolt, if you have Thunderbolt, but uh, any hub will work that allows you to connect to multiple devices at the same time. So just take that into consideration. You don't need the hub. It makes it a little bit easier to do everything just completely remote off of your iPad. So in this case, we have our element hub there and I have two things connected to it. One is my storage media. In this case, I'm just using this tiny little RAV power SSD, but anything you have is gonna work. I've got a whole stack of ones I like over here. The Glyph Atom RAID SSD. I got a Phantom Drives SSD with Thunderbolts. Um, The G Drive uh, Atom, I believe. I've got this Crucial SSD, Extreme SSD, the Tough Nano from CalDigit. I've got my LaCie Drive over here, and then I have the Samsung T7. So pretty much there's a lot of options for external SSDs or HDDs, whatever you prefer to edit on. Uh, I like solid state drives, and if I could get one with Thunderbolt, there are Thunderbolt ones like the Phantom Drive one there, that's even better because they're gonna be crazy fast if you have Thunderbolt on your iPad. So. Pick an external drive that you want to use, again, just using my uh, RAV power in this case. And then you need your camera or whatever you're getting your media off of. If it's getting off of your iPhone, it may be in the Photos app already on your iPad. If you're pulling it from a camera, your Sony a7 III, maybe you have a, a GoPro. In my case here, we've got the new Nikon ZFC mirrorless. It's a very cool new shooter. We love this guy. I've been taking this around with us a lot. This metal body, it's pretty dope. 
So we're using this. So I got a bunch of footage on this that I captured. And that's it. So I have my camera and my storage both connected to my hub and then everything connected to my iPad. So I have access to all of it all at once. So I'm going to start with connecting my camera back again. And we are going to be moving the footage from the camera itself uh, to my external drive here in the files app. So I'm going to select on my camera and I'm going to drag about 11 clips here to my RAV power folder and drop them into this Iceland trip folder to copy them from the camera to the SSD. Okay, so here's our SSD. We're gonna go into the Iceland trip folder that I dropped all those files in. Boom, there they are. They look great. Let's check out any of this. Yeah, see, that looks fantastic. You can see that's the new moment filters that we were testing out here uh, in this video that I'm gonna be editing. So lots of great stuff, lots of really cool stuff to check out. I mean, look at that shot. It looks pretty, pretty darn fantastic here. So let's get into editing this. So we're going to bump this up and then go back here to Luma Fusion. And I just created a new project. There's nothing in here. It's literally just a blank project uh, that I created here in Luma Fusion. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is up at the top, you're going to tap on that and tap on files. And we need to create a new link to a folder. So this is going to be referencing our external media that we just put in, kind of like just a shortcut. So I'm going to tap on Iceland trip, that folder we just made, and hap done. And now we have a little shortcut to all of our Iceland media that I just imported there. So any of these files I can pull up, and I think they look pretty awesome. So now I wanna tap on this little gear icon in the bottom right hand corner, and I wanna make sure that our external storage is turned on. Otherwise it's going to import those files every time I go to use them. So if I scroll down under preferences, we have external drive editing. And right now that's turned on, which is exactly what we want. So now whenever we use any of those uh, files that are on the external drive, it's gonna leave them there and it's not going to copy them to our iPad. So now let's go ahead and just start editing. I can drop some clips in. Boom, look at that, looks really nice. Pull it in a little bit. Uh, we can jump up here, pull this guy in. We're not really editing anything for content right now. So don't judge how this is actually looking as I'm just trying to put some you know media together to export a quick video for you guys. So trim that back up. Pull this guy here. Looks good to me. Pull that back. One more clip. So we got something we can we can export here. So all these are all 4K video, very high resolution. Everything looks great. So we've got our video that we put together here. All of this right now is saved on that external drive. Nothing is connected locally. And I wanna show you another thing to prove that. If we connect our external media disconnected, as we to play, nothing plays anymore. So if I tap on any of these, if I even tap on the media up here, you know, nothing can play because this is just placeholders. Uh, with those static images that were there, anything that was there before the drive was connected, and it's gone. So you don't get any of this footage anymore, any of our project, you know, nothing is going to play. Trying to go into this, not going to let you. Uh, and you can see all the red there on the timeline of everything that is missing because that drive is disconnected. So I'm going to plug our drive back in. And this is really nice to reconnect the media. It knows where all that media is on the external drive. So once I connect that drive and we're just going to give it a moment to make sure it like reconnects, I can just double tap on any of these uh, files down here. And yep, there it goes. It pulls everything back in and now we're rocking and rolling. All of our footage is back and ready to edit from our external drive. And once you're done with your video, you think this looks great, I can go ahead and tap on that share button like normal. I can tap on movie and I can choose where I want to send it to including all these different options. But in this case, I wanna do files. So I wanna bring files over here to our in use options, go back, tap on files. And when I bring up files, I can choose exactly where it lives. So export duration, space needed. This is only about half a gig in this case. And I'm gonna tap on export there. And I can choose exactly where. And in this case, I just wanna put it into that Iceland trip folder. That sounds good to me. And now it's going to go ahead and export that video. This should not take too long because we're looking at like a 30 second 4K video, about half a gig. Give this less than 30 seconds here to actually write and publish that movie out. And so far again, nothing has been stored on our iPad. Boom, done. It has been completely exported there. If I open up files, we have a new Iceland 2021 video that I can play. 
right here on the external media. Nothing is saved on our iPad. I can edit this with no storage available on my iPad, full 4K video, HDR, whatever it is that you've got going on, on an external SSD. And this is crazy. I can bring as many as I want, work remotely, work off of SSDs, never worrying about internal storage at all. It is pretty freaking crazy. So that's it. That's how easy this is. I think it is incredible that you can import your footage, edit your project, and export your project all to an external drive without ever relying on your internal iPad storage. This is a game changer. The fact that you can do all of this, I love it. And it gets even cooler because things like this camera, it can happen wirelessly. So I don't even have to carry a hub with me. I can just plug in my SSD, transfer my footage wirelessly to my iPad, and then immediately start editing off that external drive. It's amazing. I love it so much. This is just, it, it really is a game changer for mobile creators. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried editing with LumaFusion 3 or later? Uh, let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned. We have a lot more video coming and you guys know I love you.